save station. And we'll hit the missile station along the way. Uh, as well. My hand. Well. Oh, yeah. And uh, remember when MJ said something about the power bombs and making sure you have them for endgame? It's not for the prime bosses. No. Remember those fission Metroids that we met earlier? Yeah. That's what you want them for. I got this weird material. It looks even more ridiculous than phase on, apparently. Yep. You're not protected by it. More so. dangerous than phase on, so um Yeah, be careful with it. Yeah. And you kinda have to jump around it, unfortunately. There's no invisible platforms in this area. We're in the end game area. So it's a short trip to the end. But doesn't mean they're not gonna throw a lot of crap your way. So in the original Prime for GameCube, this is the only area you normally run into Fission Metroids. Now, we run into them. And they're just as annoying then as they are now. Yep, we got seven power bombs. They'll chase you throughout this room. The power bombs will get them off your back. Alright, jump along with teeth. Alright. There'll be a door that'll lead to a missile missile station about halfway up, so just keep platforming. And this is where the fishing metroids get annoying. This part. And this is why you want the power bombs. Yep. Thankfully we won't need them for prime, so Yeah. If you need them. Most likely we won't need them for prime. Yeah, we won't need them for you prime. You you won't need them. You can't use them on prime anyway, I don't think. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Alright, there's the door of the missile station. Now, there's where our missile station. Yep. Our fishing metroid like right above you. Aha! Wow. Alright, let's go get our missiles refilled. Time for a reload. Yes. Alright, baby. <sighs> Hopefully this will be a lot less stressful. Hopefully. And then I <clears throat> die like one or two times and it's gonna be so agonizing. Yep. Mostly because of how much damage this motherfucker did. It's yeah. Oh god, that was, pain that was painful. Ugh. <sighs> That's why I hate the Ripley. Yeah. That second phase, you do have to fuck. It's one of those, like. You have narrow precise. I don't know. One of those, like. Form like, like, of some kind, I guess. One of those, like, I'm freaking, uh. Oh, God! Uh, I guess. Damn, surprise attack. What a dick move. That was just like, alright, here comes the power bomb! Oh, God, power bomb! Dead. Alright, this platform is actually gonna be a little bit annoying. How many are gonna show up? Fish Metroids? Yeah. Just two. It's always two. They just keep generating after a while. Like, they don't ever stop coming, but they always come in groups of two. They come in droves of two? Yeah. Alright, get in that room and you're safe. Huh. <sighs> Alright. The road to the end. This is the end! Oh. And hopefully it'll be easier than the last two bosses. I mean, it should be. If it wasn't, I'd be surprised. Watch me screw it up, though. Because my luck. The first phase can be a little rough, especially towards the end of the first phase. Let me up! Let me up! God damn it. Spider rail. Spider rail. rail. Alright. Alright, here we go. Look at that weird friggin' thing. Look at that weird hive ship looking thing. So, that's the creature that everybody was referring to. I wonder. I gotta say, I, I do like the design of this boss, though. Yeah, the exoskeleton one. And right. actually the um, inner and the core one, too. Yeah. So here we go. The this final boss. This is, as soon as I get a chance to scan this damn thing. Yep. But first, he runs like a coward. You dick. Hey, come back here, you fool. All right. In. The battle is on. Game on. This freak is known as Metroid Prime. It's highly evolved, phase on producing life form. Yep. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of phase on, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable, other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal, these include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it a lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this weapon. Of course. So, 
charged pla uh, plasma shot, super missiles, wave buster, and ice weather, or a regular ice charge. Yep. Yeah. So, right now let's get uh, let's just go to yellow, yellow. So we gotta so? go with super missiles. Like, just use all the missiles you can. Because, Except for the flamethrower. Yeah. Don't 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 use the flamethrower. Trust me, you're better off just going the plane plasma beam shot anyway. Alright, Carol's gonna get a little closer now. And look to Purple, so that's wave. Wave buster. So wave buster will make it easier to It pretty much will stay last. Just try to stay out of the way of its attacks. Keep yourself moving while you do that, so that way you can dodge. Alright. And well, I'm gonna go further! Part two of phase one. It gets a little harder down here. Throw a little indentation to the ground there. Oh, it still makes the purple. That's convenient. Don't worry about that yet. You don't need to worry about that for now. Just do damage to it for now. His range is pretty nice. The fact that home's in is Yeah. Thank you, Alright, go more ball. Because now he'll charge across. Use a little indentations to hide. In the original Prime game, when he did that, you would hop out of the hole, so he could still hit you. It was a pain in the ass. He you still get a cheap shot on you in the original game like that. Wait, you mean you didn't have the indentations in you? Oh, it did have the indentations in the ground, it just... You would bounce out a little bit, so he could, you could hit him accidentally. Oh, God! Oh, God. Somehow he didn't run into you there. Those balls are powerful. Oh, yep, now one of them just... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, and the weakness he is... His uh, mouth beam has properties. His attacks have properties based on what he's weak against, so... Basically, it's a battle fighting fire with fire. You fight him with his weakness, as he fights you with that as well. Ice Spider will stop him for a little bit. So... Yeah. Use the Ice Spider as a good way to do some extra damage to him. You can. Part 3! We're getting close. It's gonna get a little harder, just like how the second part added the ice beam, the third will have the plasma beam, although if he does that, it's actually the easiest part, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, more, about more ball boost away. Yeah, that one's hard to predict. I keep forgetting, he starts the third part with that immediately. And now he does that nice attack as well. Be careful. Oh, God. Yeah, sometimes, oh, sometimes he'll hit his shell instead of his head. Like that. The yeah, enemy can be a little off at times. Warp ball and boost away. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. I just tried to boost away. It usually works. Oh god. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Okay. That's the way to do it. Damn, he's being really free with that. Nice. Okay. We are getting a little low on missiles, but that tends to happen with this fight. We won't need them for the next one. Alright, give the give the invitation to one on the side. Yeah, but every time you see him. Please he... change the plasma. Nice. Right. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah. The wave one is what really kills your missiles though. Yeah. Also that's the one that you highly recommend you use this one the way. Yeah. It, it ends the phase quickly, that's for sure. Yeah. By the way, if you shoot down those balls, you can get some up you can get some power ups back. You can get some missiles and health. Careful! Yeah, I see missiles over there. I see energy over here. Which I kind of want. <laughs> I'm not too worried about missiles. Because I don't think we're gonna need for the next phase anyway. Yeah. But we I don't think we do. Not really, no. Not at all, actually. <laughs> not really, I should have said no. But now. Jump! Jumping is the best way to dodge that. Yeah, attack. I know. I can... There we go. Now we're getting a lot of missiles back. Nine, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the holes. Hi. Oh, he runs the wall behind him. <laughs> hey, beautiful. All right. 
So he's going to go Wave or Plasma? Plasma! Careful, that will burn you if you get hit by that one. Clearly. It hurts. Yep. That's his strongest beam as well. Huh. Coincidence. Dang. Yeah. Get that toxic one. Good. I gave me the toxic gas. He doesn't actually get hurt by his burn, though. He pretty much only gets hurt by the initial shot. Okay. But it's also why the flame burn is useless. Oh god. Oh, almost. I'm scared. Understandable. Alright, he's going wave. We only have 39 misses left, so we can't do the wave buster for long. Oh yeah, and he hits you with a wave beam, your visor goes out of whack for a bit. You lose your ability to lock on, too. Well, I bet you can play wave beams that it locks onto his head, so... Yeah. You don't have to worry about if you run out of your wave buster. Well, run out of missiles. God damn you, you're freaking... Stopping my lock on. Ha! Still shot you during all that. Alright. And now the hardest part of the fight. Last part of the first phase. I just made some health back, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Basically, now it's everything from the first... It's basically everything from part three, except now a randomizer is thrown in. Basically, he'll do... Wow, I'm falling pretty well. Oh yeah, he'll charge at you when he freezes you like that, too, with that attack. We only got power beam now, so we just got... I'm gonna freeze the power shots. And thank you the power beam he has has no special effects. Thank goodness. Does it hurt? Well, yeah. Of course. Immensely. Um... Probably more than the other two. Opportunity to get some ammo and health back. See, now, he'll switch phase... He'll switch his weakness in the middle of the battle. So, yeah, he becomes a bigger dick now. So, basically, you can shoot a weapon... And he basically swap his weakness the last second to throw your attack off. So. Yeah. He goes very annoying. Also, oh. he rarely goes to plasma at this part, so. Rarely get the opportunity to burn him. Oh, ran out. Shit. I really don't want to use it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Oh god! That was really gonna lock on. Missiles are probably best saved for the super missile. Oh god damn it! Yeah, see he squilt swaps very frequently. Very annoying. Whatever, just shoot those down for now. We can worry about his weakness later. Getting health and missiles. Oh! Just keep focusing on him while you're shooting those down. Look out! Oh shit. Oh, I guess he does disable your ability to fire your weapon for a little bit with the power one. Alright, get in the hole. Oh god, he fired those now? Oh, Jesus. That be a little de dangerous? Oh, you dick! God, he fires them so much! A little bit of energy and some missiles. He's on wave right now. How long he'll stay like that, I don't know. Just pay attention to him. Once you see his bottom mouth open, start moving and jumping. Just make sure he doesn't shoot you. That's the attack he goes to most frequently. The beam? Yes. He's doing it again. I only nipped you with that one. That was a full one shot. You got him! Oh, he hit his freaking carapace again. Yeah. God damn it! What? All the... angles. God damn it, missile! Come on. Yeah, his awkward position can definitely throw off the missiles sometimes. You see, he rarely goes to fly, but look out! From the ice variant. Oh shit! He pinned you. Oh yeah, you get that death if you get killed during uh, morph balls. He kind of explodes. 
Yeah, this is the last hard part of the game. First phase of the final boss. He can definitely get you with his overwhelming arsenal of attacks. Overwhelming you attacks that move in slowly, then shooting with beams straight from him, or trying to pull you towards him, or freezing you, or running at you. He's a force to be reckoned with. Not quite like Omega Pyre and Meta Ridley, but... The first phase, I think. It can catch you off guard. Although, if you die, if you get hammered in the first phase, it's gonna bite you really hard in the second phase. Yeah, you, it is a test of endurance in the second phase, but it's not nearly as bad as the first. The thing you should be more concerned about is do you have enough energy to survive? Yes. The yeah, fish mentioned my, my latch is on me to get them off, but. Yeah. If I can save these, because I'm not sure, are those things susceptible to power bombs? What do you mean? The, uh... The floating orbs they shoot at you. I mean, maybe. I never thought about doing that. I usually just shoot them down like beam. I never took the time power bomb, but I would think, probably. I'll just until they get close enough. Since you can shoot them down with any kind of beam weapon, no matter what cult, no matter what type it is, I would think the power bomb would work on any of them. Now, I guess I could save you some time, so if they get too close, you can just power bomb them. Yeah, because I don't... Because it's like, I don't want to waste... Alright, so you're in the way, so you know what's coming. Yep. Oh, now it notices you. Alright, come and get me! <laughs> that was fun. I don't want to do that. Okay. I love all the platforms that I got for Oh, you twice. dick! Oh! You still landed. Ooh! Wow. Normally, when that happens to me, I either get bumped to fall, or they suck me off a platform and make me fall. I guess I'm lucky. Hey, take it. 